Hello everybody, it's me again. This video is just a simple and quick developer tip about how to use JavaScript to change the tab text in the browser software just like YouTube is currently doing to have a little play symbol in it. All the way at the top of the browser software is pretty cool. I'm going to show you right now. It's very easy. Let's view a live example so you can evaluate whether or not you like it and want to learn more about it. So at YouTube.com, if you're in a modern browser and you press play in the video, you see that? A little arrow appeared at the very top of the browser software in the tab, in the title of the page. And then if I press pause, it goes away because the multimedia is not playing anymore. And that's some pretty smart programming by the guys over at YouTube. I like it. I'm going to show you now. We're going to start with the bare bones of an HTML5 web document. Mine is named example.html. You can see the title of my page starts by default as multimedia page. And that's all we're going to be doing in this tutorial is showing you how to change the title during runtime of the application. Basically changing the page title anytime you need to. And that affects the tab text. So first thing we're going to do is just for developer purposes, let's put in a button. Let's close that button. And let's put the word play in its inner HTML. And then that button we're going to give an on click event listener. So on click equals whatever JavaScript that I want to run. And in this case, I'm going to run a function called tab text, which I haven't created yet, but I'm going to create that in just a moment. Now I'm going to put another button in that says pause. Now I can send my text, whatever text that I want, through this function in between single quotes like that. And I'll just take the default text right here of the title, put it in between my single quotes, and do the same thing down here, in between single quotes. Now when the play button is hit, I want a little arrow to appear. So all I have to do is put in the HTML symbol for the arrow that points right, and then a space. Now all we need is this tab text function, so let's put that in place because when this button's clicked, it's going to fire off a function called tab text in our JavaScript. So let's type in function tab text, open close parenthesis, put in an open and curly brace, and put in a close and curly brace. Now the one argument coming into this function is a string, which is going to be whatever string we want to change the title with. So we could just put text, and then we're going to say document.title equal to text. And that will effectively change the document's title to whatever text you want at any time that you want. It doesn't have to be in the on click event of this button. It could be on the on click event of your multimedia player button, just like YouTube is doing. And it could be any event. You could have just MP3s on the page. And if you want it to be just like YouTube's, you would simply start it, start the page off with that arrow symbol on top like that. So now if I run this in my favorite browser software, I'm going to see the arrow symbol because the video is playing when the page loads by default. And when I press pause, you see my little arrow symbol went away. I press play again, my arrow symbol comes back. That's exactly how YouTube is functioning. And keep in mind that that arrow symbol might not look the same in all browser software. In the future it might, but not currently. Some browsers don't render it as cleanly as Chrome is rendering it right now. And some, some older browsers won't render it at all. And I went and got the symbol for that arrow at develop.php. If you go to the HTML library, you'll see HTML symbols. And I went to the arrow symbols. And then on that page is a ton of arrows. And I have the little play symbol down here. It's all the different triangles you can use in different positions. Alrighty, I hope this has been a helpful tidbit for you. If you happen to have multimedia playing on any of your pages, videos, audio, whatever.